So, Bleathermon, you were on the chase boat today for today's training session. Just describe the conditions out there for us. It, they look pretty good for uh, for testing. Yeah, when the breeze eventually came in this afternoon, it was it was great conditions for testing. Um, we had to wait a little while out there before kind of the, the start of the sea breeze came in. Um, but then when it came in, it was pretty strong, to be fair, kind of 15, 16 knots. Um, and yeah, great day for testing. So, let's talk a little bit about the bustle and the W foil that you guys have been using. <coughs> Um, I'm fascinated to know whether the two things arrive together because you're using them in sync with each other in some way. Is there some link between how you trim the boat with the bustle and the, and the W foil? Uh, no, I mean, the timing of the, those two upgrades was, was really about kind of fitting it in with a minimal downtime, to be honest. Um, so both of those came online um, about, about a month ago now. Um, and since then, we've been, I guess, gathering as much data as we can on, on, on both of those concepts. There's a lot of talk about end plating the boat underneath. Um, what, what might some of the advantages of, of this bustle be for the team in general terms? I'm not looking yeah, for state secrets. No, uh, I mean, uh, aerodynamics is a, is a big part with these, these hulls now. Um, and we can see across all the teams that kind of really, there's a really emphasis on trying to seal bustles to the, to the water surface. And you see kind of big gains uh, in aerodynamic world from, from doing that. Um, so yeah, that's really kind of one of the big parts we're exploring. Might that help with leeway problems these boats on foils leeway is an issue isn't it yeah i mean leeway control is certainly a factor on these boats um i mean it, generally we're, we're going to be trying not to be touching the vessel too much um but you're really finding that balance between a vessel that's kind of forgiving for touching um but also giving you good kind of sealing properties is this something we can expect to see on the big boat when it arrives I mean, I'd be surprised if uh, if no team kind of launched without a bustle. Um, but I mean, it really it's down to the, the details and the intricacies of, of the designs that, that each team kind of ends up on, to be honest. Tell me a little bit about Windward Heel. Um, I, I've seen all the teams do it in the videos. Everybody's experimenting with it. First of all, what, what's the advantage of, of that, do you think, in, again, in general terms for all the teams? Yeah, I mean, um, we're kind of seeing lots of teams playing around with different setups of, of heel and cant. Um, and and that really is kind of, kind of as you said before kind of managing there's some leeway control in there um but also just kind of the boat setup in terms of aerodynamics um so yeah i think we're all still we're still learning um what conditions suit uh, which particular heel angles and also kind of upwind and downwind as well kind of kind of where that where that kind of locks in and just really quickly how do you actually induce windward heel is it a combination of lots of things or or one particular factor I mean, it's partly kind of a dance, your kind of your sail setup, um, but also, yeah, as I said before, like your can't, your can't set up really impacts where you can get to in terms of heel and keep the margin on the hull. Um, so really, it's kind of yeah, your, your can't set up really defines where you can get to um, on the on the heel. That's fantastic. Great insight. Thanks, Blevin. No worries. Thank you so much.